knows what may be lurking on the journey Into the woods to get the thing that makes it worth the journey Into the woods to see the king To sell the cow To make the potion to see To sell, to get, to bring, to make, to live To go to the festival Into the woods Into the woods Into the woods And out of the woods And home before
until now had failed.
that wants to sell a friend. One day you'll have a real pet, Jack. A piggy? Meanwhile, the witch, for purposes of her own, explained how the baker might lift the spell. You wish to have the curse reversed? I'll need a certain potion first. Go to the wood and bring me back. Fortune. 
I seem mysterious. But what explains I am nothing serious. Say that again? On your way to market? You might have been there long ago. Taking your time, Jack. No, sir. Is that the truth? Well, I was just resting. And how much you ask for the animal? No less than five pounds. Oh, now, Jack, why that sum? My mother told me. Your mother? A boy your age? What? You'd be lucky to exchange her for a sack of beans! Well, I... Come along, Lucky White. There are spirits here. Good day. Here. 
you would be frightened for your life. Now go home immediately. I wish to hell. No, the spell is on my house. Our house. Oh, we must leave the spell. The spell is on my house. house. The spell is on my house. The spell is on my house. A cow as white as a milk. Hello there, young man. Hello, sir. What might you be doing with a cow in the middle of the forest? I was headed to a market, but I seem to have lost my way. Are you planning to do that? And what are you planning to do there? Sell my cow, sir. No less than five pounds. Five pounds? Where am I to get five pounds? Oh, oh! Five pounds? She must be generous of milk to fetch five pounds. Yes, ma'am. And if you are not to fetch that song, then what are you to do? I hadn't thought of that. I suppose my mother and I would have no food to eat. This is the sum total. Be so bees. We mustn't give up our bees. Oh, well, if you feel we must. Huh? Beans will bring you food some. Bees in exchange for my cow? Oh, these are no ordinary beans. These beans carry magic. Magic? What kind of magic? Tell him. <laughs> magic? Magic that defies description. My mother. Who'd be lucky to exchange her for a sack of beans? How many beans? Six. Five. We must not part with all of them. We have to leave one for ourselves. Besides, I'd say these beans were worth a pound each at the very least. Can I buy my cow back someday? Well...
cape like that. You look pretty foolish. May I take a look at it? I don't like to be without my cape. Please give it back. I want it back. Give it back, please. Oh, get the little girl and get the cape. <laughs>
with strangers and even flowers have their dangers and no scary is exciting. Nice is different than good.
you've left the things you know, little more than glass enough to show you just how small you are. When you weigh a pound, you're on your own in a world like none that you've ever known. The sky is land and you're pissed on. You're free to do whatever pleases you. Exploring things you never get because you don't care. And suddenly there's a big, tall, terrible giant.
strange objects. No more witches and dim-witted boys and, and hungry little girls. Go! Ah, <coughs> uh, brother, father and I had wondered where you had gone. I have been searching all night for her. Her? The beautiful one I danced the evening with. Where did she go? Disappeared. Like the fine morning mist. She was lovely. The loveliest. Oh, I am not certain. I must confess. I too have found a lovely maiden. She lives here in the woods. The woods? Yes. In the top of a tall tower with no door or stairs. Where? Two leagues from here to east, just beyond the mossy dome. And how do you manage a visit? <laughs> you see, I stand before her window and say, Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair to me. And she lowers the longest, most beautiful head of hair, yellow as corn, which I climb to her. Rapunzel? Rapunzel, what kind of a name is that? You jest, I've never heard such a thing. I speak the truth. She's as true as your maiden. Her maiden money from a prince. Not a lot from us. Yet one has. Did I abuse her or show her disdain? Why does she run from me? If I should lose her, how shall I regain the heart she has won from me?
here to see that your wish is granted. You've caused enough trouble. Keep out of my path.
You go for the cow, 
left you alone long enough? Your questions make no sense, old man. Go away. In need of another cow?
kingdom with a man who fits the ship. It's mine! I don't care if this costs me my life! Give her the slipper and all will be... What was that noise? Sir, just a bolt of lightning in that far off kingdom. You dare go off in search without me? I, I apologize, sir. I thought I might... Enough of what you thought. I employed a ruse and had the entire staircase smeared with pitch. And there, when she ran, remained the maiden slipper. Brilliant! I thought so. It did create quite a mess when the other guests left. And, sir, I have succeeded in obtaining the other slipper. Give them the slipper, and all will come to a happy end. Who are you, old man? When first I appeared, I seemed to... No! Shut up! Do as he says. He's obviously a spirit of some sort. And besides, we only need one. Yes! <gasps>
father. Father? Could that be you? I thought you died in a baking accident. I didn't want to run away from you, son. But I... It's working! She's milking! I don't understand. Not now! Into the cup! Let her speak for her. 
attended, hoping to win favor with Cinderella and share in her good fortune. But as the two stood by, the blessed couple, Pigeon swooped down and pecked out their eyes, punishing them with blood.
Are you alright? I think so. And the baby? She's fine. Are you alright? I want you to promise me you won't leave your surroundings. 
gets no drink, is it thick? It's the thickest of quick, is this pick it apart with a stick? Yes, but even one prick, it's my thing about blood, but it's sick. It's no sicker than your thing, the dwarves. Dwarves, dwarves. Dwarves are very upsetting. Not forgetting the tasks on achievable mountains of scalable limits, conceivable.
these were not people familiar with making choices. Their past experiences in the woods had in no way prepared them for a force this great. to examine the moral issue at question here. The finality of stories such as these dictates. Sorry, I tell the story. I'm not part of it. That's right. Not one of us. You're always on the outside. That's my role. You must understand. There must always be someone on the outside. Well, you're going to be on the inside now. You're making a mistake. Nonsense. You need an objective observer to pass the story along. Some of us don't like the way you if you drag me into this mess, you'll never have the story ends! You'll all be lost! Wait, wait! He's the only one that knows the story! Do you think it'll be fun to have to tell it yourselves? Think of your baby! Stop, stop! Let him go! He's right, he's right! Oh, you put that away! Now, that's better. You don't want to live in a world of chaos! There must always be an outside observer. Here's the
find our way out of this together. Some people are cut out to battle giants and others are not. I don't have the constitution. And as long as I can be of no help, I'm going to hide. Everything will work out fine in the end. Not always. I hope the giant steps on them all. Well, you shouldn't say that. You were thinking the same thing. This is terrible. We just saw three people die. Since when are you so squeamish? How many wolves have you popped up? A wolf's not the same. Ask the wolf's mother. Stop it. I suggest we find the boy and give her what she wants. But if we give her the boy, she'll kill him too. And if we don't, she'll kill half that kingdom. All right, all right. One step at a time here. Maybe if the boy apologizes, makes amends. Yes, and here we're turning the stolen goods. Yes. He's really a sweet boy at heart. She'll see that. You people are so blind. It's because of that boy there's a giant in our land. While you continue talking about this problem, I'll find the boy and I'll serve him to the giant for lunch. Meet the moment unblushed. Life is often so important. 
pleasant. You must know that as a peasant, let's you take the moment present as a present for the moment.
on her, she was under her tree. He was sobbing over her like she was his own mother. Oh, how awful! How could this happen? I buried her in a footprint. What was I thinking? I should have just stayed with her! Remorse will get you nowhere! My wife is dead! Wake up! People are dying all around you. You're not the only one to suffer a loss. When you're dead, you're dead. So I suggest we get this boy to the giant before we're all so much dead. Keep away from him! This is no time to be soft-hearted. He's going to the giant and I'm taking him. Yes! He's the one to blame! It's because of you, Mr. Giant, in the midst of my wife is dead! What if this is my fault? I was given those beans to persuade me to trade away my cow for beans and without those beans there'd have been no stock to get up to the giants in the first place. Wait, the magic beans for a cow so old that you had to tell a lot of sell to which you told with a bit of this beans when they were first sold. Oh, until I was super sweet and she just knew what that goal. See, it's your fault. No, so it's your fault. No. Yes, it is. It's not. It's true. Wait a minute, though. I only stole the gold to get my cow back from you. So it's your fault. Yes. No, it's the time. Kept those beans when her house was cursed. She made us get the cow back at the curse reversed. Did you call this fault of the curse? No place. Right, that's clear, but without any beats off then what's queer is how did the second time get down here in the first place, second place? Yes, yeah, how? Well, who had the other bean? The other bean? The other bean? You pocketed the other bean? No, I didn't. Yes, I did. So it's yours? No, it isn't, because I gave it to my wife. So it's yours? No, it isn't. No, it isn't. Wait a minute, she exchanged that bean to obtain your shoe, so the one who knows what happened to the bean is you. You mean that whole bean that you like, oh dear, but I never knew it, so I threw it, don't look here. So it's her fault. But, yes, it's her fault. But, and it isn't mine at all. But what? So Said that I was scared to see it. No, I so didn't. Wait a minute. You had to do it too. Had to let the harp alone. You had to draw the way the first place. You had to draw the way the first place. You had to draw the way the first place. Wait, you had to beat to the first place. It's your fault. You're responsible. You're the one to blame. It's your fault. You 
pretend the government's yours, separate and alone. Everybody down on our farm, or another one. Maybe I shouldn't have stolen from the giant. Maybe I shouldn't have strayed from the path. Maybe I shouldn't have attended the ball. Yes, maybe you shouldn't have. Where are you going? Away from here. But you said we had to find our way out of this together. It doesn't matter whether we're together or apart. But we need your help. You don't understand. My wife was the one who really helped. I depended on her for everything. You would leave your child! My child will be happier in the arms of a princess. But wait!
witches. All the curses. All the wolves of the lies and false hopes, the goodbyes, the reverses. All the wondering what even worse is still in store. All the children.
brother here is I've slain the giant. Jack, your mother is dead. Dead? Was she killed by the giant? She was arguing with the giant, and trying to protect you. She was struck a deadly blow by the prince's steward. Why would he do that? He was afraid she was provoking the giant. Can no one bring her back? No one. That steward will pay. After we send the giant, I will slay him. He will do nothing of the kind. But he shouldn't have killed my mother, right? I guess not. Then he must die. Well, no. Why not? Because that would be wrong. What he did was wrong. He should be punished. He will be somehow. How? I don't know. Stop asking me questions I can't answer. I'll kill him. Fine, then kill him. Wait, no, no. Don't kill him. See that tower where the birds are clustered? Jack is in that tower. 
wasn't meant to have children. Don't say that. Of course you were meant to have children. But how will I go about being a father with no one to mother my child? Just calm the child. Yes, calm the child. Look, tell them the story of how it all happened to be father and mother. You know what to do. Alone.
introduction into the woods this evening. We are thankful to have a district administration.